I freaking love tacos. Or at least I used to. There was this taco truck that used to drive around the city where I live. It would park in busy parts of the city during the day and serve its delicious taco goodness to those in the area. I won't lie, the truck was sketchy as hell. It was one of those old school ice cream trucks from back in the day that had been converted into a food wagon. It's mint green paint peeling off, exposing decades of rust and other weather-related damage. Fixed to the top was a sheet of plywood with a badly drawn taco on it and the words, Juan for the road. So yeah, it was sketchy, but oh so delicious. One night after work I was driving home when I saw it parked on the corner. This was a lucky break for me, as I was exhausted and didn't feel like cooking myself dinner when I got home. I found a parking spot near the truck and went to order my food. I ordered three taco grandes and a burrito carn with extra guacamole. All that deliciousness and it only cost me 10 bucks. I grabbed my bag of food from the old guy who was working in the truck and hopped into my car. Once buckled up, safety first kids, I dug out my burrito to eat on the way home. I was in heaven. That burrito was so damn delicious that I didn't even get mad when a huge blob of guacamole fell out of it and onto my white shirt. I scooped it up with my finger and plopped it into my mouth. I finished the burrito as I pulled into the driveway so I crumpled the wrapper up and tossed it into the bag. Hopping out of my car, I hurried inside with a giddiness usually reserved for children on Christmas Day. Depositing the bag on the kitchen table, I went to the fridge to grab a cold beer and turned on my iPod. To my delight, I had a brand new episode of this awesome horror podcast I like all queued up and ready to go. I listened to the sultry voice of one of the female narrators spin her yarn of horror and dread as I absolutely demolished those tacos. The manner in which I ate them could probably be a horror story itself. I thought of how those poor unsuspecting tacos were thrust into my ravenous, gaping maw and how spittle-covered debris hurtled over the clean surface of the table. Yeah, it sounded cool in my head, but I'm not a writer. The story ended and I finished up my beer, cleaned up after myself and went to watch some TV with my glorious meal already a tasty memory. My life went back to normal after that. Work, sleep, repeat, etc. for the next few days until I awoke one morning with an odd sensation in my throat. I figured I was coming down with something and burst it off as the beginning of a summer cold. I got up, showered, did my whole morning routine and off to work I went. In the passing days it went from a minor annoyance to a constant discomfort. I thought about going to get myself checked out, but I didn't have health insurance and there was no way I could afford a trip to the hospital. So like any other pig-headed dude in his early 30s, I decided to tough it out a bit longer and see what would happen. As you can guess, that was a big mistake. As time passed I got used to the discomfort and it kind of got pushed back to the back of my mind. Quite some time later I was sitting at the kitchen table, drinking my second cup of coffee and reading the paper when I saw an article with the picture of the taco truck and a headline that read, Local Taco Truck, Health Violation on Wheels. I was stunned as I read the list of violations. Broken coolers containing food stored at over safe temperatures. Dirty utensils that looked like that gad never been cleaned, food left to sit out on counters. The violations went on and on. I couldn't believe I used to get food from there. When the mentioned vermin infestation I began to gag. Not figuratively either. I got this strange sensation in my throat and began choking. I rushed over to the kitchen sink and spit into it. I expected a glob of phlegm or even some vomit, but what I did not expect was the tiny brown six-legged bug that was now crawling around in the six. A cockroach. A goddamned cockroach. As the realization of what happened hit me, I began gagging again. Leaning into the sink dry heaving, I felt the tickling sensation of more of those bastards skittering and crawling up my throat only to be ejected from my mouth into my sink. I can't tell you how long I stood there, crying like a baby that wants its mommy as more of these things spewed forth from my mouth. When the horror finally ended I did the only sensible thing I could think of. I puked. Right into that sink and all over the baby roaches that hadn't climbed out of the sink yet. Feeling violated, I rushed to the bathroom and brushed my teeth until my gums bled and then I downed an entire bottle of mouthwash. 
As I looked at my wretched reflection in the mirror, I pieced together what must have happened. One of the meals I got from the taco truck must have had a roach in it and that son of a gun managed to lay eggs in my throat which must have been what was causing the discomfort. After managing to collect myself, I called an exterminator and set a date for him to come and deal with those little bastards and then I went to the hospital, cost be damned. Luckily there was no serious damage except to my psyche and I'd lucked out and the exterminator was able to get to my house earlier than planned. So yeah, I freaking hate tacos.